the book of Micah, chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Micah of Moresheth during the reigns of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, the vision he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Hear, you peoples, all of you, listen, earth, and all who live in it, that the sovereign Lord may bear witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. Look, the Lord is coming from his dwelling place. He comes down and treads on the heights of the earth. The mountains melt beneath him, and the valleys split apart, like wax before the fire, like water rushing down a slope. All this is because of Jacob's transgression, because of the sins of the people of Israel. What is Jacob's transgression? Is it not Samaria? What is Judah's high place? Is it not Jerusalem? Therefore I will make Samaria a heap of rubble, a place for planting vineyards. I will pour her stones into the valley and lay bare her foundations. All her idols will be broken to pieces. All her temple gifts will be burned with fire. I will destroy all her images, since she gathered her gifts from the wages of prostitutes, as the wages of prostitutes they will again be used. Because of this I will weep and wail, I will go about barefoot and naked, I will howl like a jackal and moan like an owl. For Samaria's plague is incurable, it has spread to Judah, it has reached the very gate of my people, even to Jerusalem itself. Tell it not in Gath, weep not at all, in Beth Ophrah, roll in the dust, pass by naked and in shame, you who live in Shafir. Those who live in Zainan will not come out. Beth Ezel is in mourning, it no longer protects you. Those who live in Marath writhe in pain, waiting for relief, because disaster has come from the Lord even to the gate of Jerusalem. You who live in Lachish, Harness fast horses to the chariot. You are where the sin of daughter Zion began, for the transgressions of Israel were found in you. Therefore you will give parting gifts to Marashat Gath. The town of Agzib will prove deceptive to the kings of Israel. I will bring a conquer against you who live in Marasha, the nobles of Israel who flee to Adullam. Shave your head in mourning for the children in whom you delight. Make yourself as bald as the vulture, for they will go from you into exile. Micah 2 Woe to those who plan iniquity, to those who plot evil on their beds. At morning's light they carry it out because it is in their power to do it. They covet fields and seize them and houses and take them. They defraud people of their homes, they rob them of their inheritance. Therefore the Lord says, I am planning disaster against this people, from which you cannot save yourselves. You will no longer walk proudly, for it will be a time of calamity. In that day people will ridicule you. They will taunt you with this mournful song. We are utterly ruined. My people's possession is divided up. He takes it from me. He assigns our fields to traitors. Therefore you will have no one in the assembly of the Lord to divide the land by lot. Do not prophesy, their prophets say. Do not prophesy about these things. Disgrace will not overtake us. You descendants of Jacob, should it be said, Does the Lord become impatient? Does he do such things? Do not my words do good to the one whose ways are upright? Lately my people have risen up like an enemy. You strip off the rich robe from those who pass by without a care, like men returning from battle. You drive the women of my people from their pleasant homes. You take away my blessing from their children forever. Get up, go away, for this is not your resting place, because it is defiled, it is ruined beyond all remedy. If a liar and deceiver comes and says, I will prophesy for you plenty of wine and beer, that would be just the prophet for this people. I will surely gather all of you, Jacob. I will surely bring together the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. The one who breaks open the way will go up before them. They will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord at their head. Micah 3. Then I said, 
Listen, you leaders of Jacob, you rulers of Israel. Should you not embrace justice, you who hate good and love evil, who tear the skin from my people and the flesh from their bones, who eat my people's flesh, strip off their skin and break their bones in pieces, who chop them up like meat for the pan, like flesh for the pot, then they will cry out to the Lord, but he will not answer them. At that time, he will hide his face from them because of the evil they have done. This is what the Lord says. As for the prophets who lead my people astray, they proclaim peace if they have something to eat, but prepare to wage war against anyone who refuses to feed them. Therefore night will come over you without visions and darkness without divination. The sun will set for the prophets, and the day will go dark for them. The seers will be ashamed, and the diviners disgraced. They will all cover their faces because there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might, to declare to Jacob his transgression, to Israel his sin. Hear this, you leaders of Jacob, you rulers of Israel, who despise justice and distort all that is right, who build Zion with bloodshed and Jerusalem with wickedness. Her leaders judge for a bribe, her priests teach for a price, and her prophets tell fortunes for money. Yet they look for the Lord's support and say, Is not the Lord among us? No disaster will come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Zion will be plowed like a field. Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble. The temple hill a mound overgrown with thickets. Micah 4 In the last days the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and people will stream to it. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many peoples, and will settle disputes from strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Everyone will sit under their own vine and under their own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken. All the nations may walk in the name of their gods, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. In that day, declares the Lord, I will gather the lame, I will assemble the exiles, and those I have brought to grief. I will make the lame my remnant, those driven away a strong nation. The Lord will rule over them in Mount Zion from that day and forever. As for you, watchtower of the flock, stronghold of daughter Zion, the former dominion will be restored to you. Kingship will come to daughter Jerusalem. Why do you now cry aloud? Have you no king? Has your ruler perished? That pain seizes you like that of a woman in labor. Writhe in agony, daughter Zion, like a woman in labor. For now you must leave the city to camp in the open field. You will go to Babylon. There you will be rescued. There the Lord will redeem you out of the hand of your enemies. But now many nations are gathered against you. They say, Let her be defiled. Let our eyes gloat over Zion. But they do not know the thoughts of the Lord. They do not understand his plan, that he has gathered them like sheaves to the threshing floor. Rise and thresh, daughter Zion, for I will give you horns of iron, I will give you hooves of bronze, and you will break to pieces many nations. You will devote their ill-gotten gains to the Lord, their wealth to the Lord of all the earth.